George Charman. I'm a visual artist based in London. Um, my work is mainly uh, made through sculpture and drawing and uh, site specific installation. The Drowned Man and uh, two subsequent pieces, Mask and If Only You Could See, are all, they all came, they're all made uh, at the same time. Sort of, I worked on all three of the pieces at the same time. And it was around the period when I was reading a lot of J.G. Ballard's work and also looking at a lot of uh, German romantic painting, 18th century painting. So uh, artists like Caspar David Friedrich in particular. So the title of the work is kind of a sort of an amalgamation of uh, a title of a short story from J.G. Ballard called The Drowned Giant and um, slightly taken from a title of a Caspar David Friedrich painting called Wander in the Sea of Fog. So the, the composition of that piece is, is, is uh, sort of loosely taken from the Friedrich painting. So what I was trying to sort of look at with those works is trying to sort of present constructed landscapes that sit somewhere between um, a kind of a crystalline form, something that could have been formed naturally and something that's quite clearly uh, constructed or has a sort of an association with the beginnings of uh, an urban space. So the first stage is to construct them through the layering up of the graph paper and the application of the colour. And then the second stage is to, in a sense, deconstruct them through the slight sort of ruination of the object by cutting sections away from the drawing to reveal these internal spaces. So the, the ceramics pieces that you're showing are made through a process of creating, uh, they're made from slabs of porcelain essentially. So the way that I construct them is very much a similar way in which you would construct a concrete modernist building. And in a sense they are influenced by uh, real architectural structures uh, or, or sort of architectural details, but they also operate as abstract forms in themselves. So they could be read from both points of view as an architectural model or an architectural detail or as uh, an abstract sculptural form. I'm, I'm constantly fighting with the material uh, that wants to basically return to its original form, which is a lump of clay. So uh, part of the form comes out of that 